Hello guys, Michaela here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build. Today, I am bringing you the first uh, build that I built with the um, four rent expansion pack, which came out yesterday. I was very adamant on trying to get a build out today. Uh, I wasn't sure if I'm going to make it uh, in time for like a normal upload time, which is 8 p.m. Uh, Central European time. But because one of my uh, classes today was cancelled because the teacher is um, sick, I managed to get it done in time. So I'm recording the voiceover. I'm going to go to school and I'm going to uh, schedule all of the social media uh, posts um, there at my second class that I have today. So... Yes, this is the second time I record, I'm recording this voiceover because the first uh, take for some reason did not work. My microphone just wasn't working properly. So yeah, I talked here for 15 minutes and it did not record. That was not great. But anyway, I'm sorry if you can hear like music, you might be able to hear it because it's, it's like the public whatever radio thing. They're kind of saying something and... I really cannot stop this uh, voiceover because I need to get it done because I have to leave in 45 minutes and I have to get myself a snack before I go. I have to, I would love to do some like a quick workout, but I might actually do that after I come back because I don't have a lot of time right now. Um, so yeah, I cannot stop the recording. So I'm sorry if you can hear it, just ignore it. It's just some like information, which is probably not important. Anyway, um, so I was struggling a little bit with coming up with what I want to build with the new pack because it's a style and culture that I'm not very familiar with. So I was like, what to do? So I obviously um, browsed through Pinterest because what else do you want to do when something new comes out? You just browse Pinterest for inspiration. So that's what I did and I stumbled upon this very cute photo of a couple of townhouses that apparently are like colonial style townhouses. I think that's what they are. You can actually see some of the uh, some this type of building around the world of Tomorang in this like especially in this like town area. So I guess they are very typical for this and I think a lot of the items that we got with the pack were inspired by this style because especially like the gate or the windows they I all I saw all of these things in the pictures that I uh, looked for so yeah I decided to work on that because I really liked how colorful they were how happy they were and I've been doing a lot of like dark darker color palettes and um maybe like black and browns and not much color lately so I really wanted to bring a color on the channel again, even though my last week's apartments that I did in the Solani there were very colorful. So I take that back. But yeah, you have like a bunch of color before the Christmas comes. <laughs> um, anyway, so I am now doing landscaping. It's very simple because the lot is very small. I did not have a lot of space for um, landscaping. So it's very, very, very kind of simple. Uh, but we got a lot of like a couple of new stuff in debug, uh, kind of debug plans, which I am very happy with. We have some items that are recycled from other packs like Jungle Adventure and, um, what's the next one? Uh, Jungle Adventure and Island Living is the second one. So we got a lot of stuff uh, that are kind of, especially with the landscaping, that are, um, yeah basically from those packs, but I think that happens quite often that they recycle some of the debug items, which I think I'm fine with because it's debug. We got a couple of new packs that are specific to this world. So I think I'm happy, uh, happy with that. So the build consists of three units, very small units. The downstairs kind of box is four by seven and the upstairs is one tile bigger because it has kind of an overhang. Uh, at the front of the house so if they're very small i think if they stood on their own each of the townhouses they could be considered tiny homes so there is not much space but this this first one that i'm working on right now is like the lightest of them because you know i kind of carried the outdoor of kind of beigey color inside so uh that's the lightest one i imagine that a Kind of like a 50-ish couple lives here. Their kids are already gone out of the house and they decided to purchase a small home to, to live in. 
and uh, not purchase, rent a small house because they don't really need a lot of space anymore. They want to travel, so they have only like a small apartment to live in. So that's kind of the idea behind the first one. So downstairs you have the kitchen, dining, living spaces in all of uh, the living room in all of them. And upstairs you have the bedroom and the bathroom. So this first one is for uh, this kind of older couple, but not like seniors, but like 50-ish, I think, maybe like my parents <laughs> around that time. They almost have their kids out of uh, their house uh, in our case. Um, the green one, kind of the middle one, is for the owners of this whole complex, which I imagined is uh, the, is it an, an elderly couple? And, you know, they, they have this, they own this, maybe they bought this uh, after they retired, and now they live in the middle one. So that one is the most traditional one. I think I used the most traditional pieces in that one. Uh, so that one is kind of for an elderly couple. And the last one is for a young family. So <laughs> because the townhouses are very small, you don't really have a lot of space to fit stuff in. But... <laughs> I had a vision, okay? So I decided to place a crib. So I imagine that that family that lives there, that rents out that unit, has a small baby. But if the baby grows up, it doesn't have a lot of space to uh, actually live somewhere or sleep somewhere. So you'd have to, you'll have to figure that out if you decide to try and play this um, kind of storyline, if you decide to move in a family in that one because there is a crib for a baby but not even I don't think you could actually fit in uh, an infant bed I mean maybe you could next to the bed if you delete some of the stuff that I placed there but I'm not sure so yeah it would be like a very fun challenge to try and figure out how to fit in a growing kid yeah, I, I don't really know how I would do that anyway <laughs> um I really love the pack. I was a bit, not, I don't want to say skeptical, but scared that it's not going to be a style that I will know what to do with, which sometimes happens with uh, packs like vampires, for example. Uh, I, I've, ha I've had it for a couple of years now and uh, I've only built in Forgotten Hollow last month for the first time ever because I had a commission actually or like a re re request for that and I, I still did not build like a full-on Victorian home it was like a modern gothic Victorian home um, so yeah I was a bit scared there's not going to be a style I will know what to do with but I think it's pretty cool I think some of the items will be useful for other uh, for like my normal everyday building style which I think is a lot of fun uh, I really like um, new items, especially, yes, okay, let's talk about the things that I really, really love now that I've seen uh, the tile that I used in the bathroom. That tile is probably my favorite thing in the pack because it's so freaking cute. I think it's a style that is very modern and chic at the moment in like homes and I love it in The Sims. I'm going to use that one obsessively because it's so nice. I love the table that I use downstairs, the like modern version of it. Also, this plant, uh, the plants are really nice as well. Um, the curtains are nice. They are a bit more niche. Uh, they're not probably going to be very useful for other stuff, but maybe for builds in like Solani and uh, Tortosa, they might be uh, fun to use. Um, this bed, really nice, as well as the tables, uh, the bedside tables. I really like those as well. I think they are going to be usable. And I absolutely love these paintings on the wall. I think they're meant for like a bar sort of setting because you have um, uh, bottles on some of the swatches, but some of the more like decent swatches, especially one that I use here, or I think there is like a green version as well. Uh, those are really nice and this dresser is really nice. I would have liked if this wasn't a dresser, but maybe a um, console table for the uh, for the TV. But, I mean, you can use it still and you can have different functionality now that I think about it. But still, I really feel like this is more of a console table. But honestly, I love this. I think a lot of the items that we got could be used with like a boho kind of style because you have a lot of like wicker detailing on some of the stuff so yeah I might actually build something boho inspired I've been meaning to do that for quite some time but I haven't gotten around to do it 
<laughs> I've been very busy lately, especially this week, because I've been dealing with some um, kind of presentations, things that needed to be done. I'm also working on um, like a national competition with my uh, didactics teacher, so I'm helping with uh, putting together um, the exercises for that. So that was, we uh, had to start on like the next round of, of uh, exercises this week. I also had to um, agree kind of terms for my uh, kind of diploma thesis, which is a thesis that you write uh, when you study the master's degree. Um, so I had to kind of come up with the topic. I had a meeting with my teacher to discuss it. So yeah, that was... Uh, also quite time consuming so I did not really stop that's why I didn't think I'd be able to actually put this together but I I chose a small um building so you know these townhouses are really tiny but I also was uh, lucky because of the cancellation of the class which I think I talked about at the beginning of the video so yeah my, my teacher is sick so he uh, texted us uh, or texted us, sent, us, sent us an email that he is not gonna be able to come so we only have the seminar afterwards, uh, which sucks because it's from five to seven. Or like, uh, no, sorry, it's like 16.30 to like 18.30, something like that. We start a bit earlier, but um, yeah, it, it was nice because it gave me the opportunity to, um, to finish this, to do what I want, to, to kind of make sure that I have everything that I want uh, scheduled and done. So yeah, I'm going to finish this, wrap this up, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube and then I need to just schedule um, stuff uh, on other social media platforms, which should not take uh, as much time. Uh, so yeah, here we are working on the middle uh, upstairs uh, and I didn't want to use the bed that we got with the pack over and over again, so I decided to use a couch and merge it together with a base game bed. I think I also forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that this is a restricted uh, pack build. So I only used the four rent expansion pack and base game. So if you only uh, have that, if you only decide to purchase the four rent, you will be able to play uh, with this build because it only contains the items from the pack and the base game. So yeah, that's also quite quite fun. So it's one of it can it's another one of the builds for my one pack only uh, series. Uh, yeah, so I kind of copied over pretty much everything because I wanted to make sure that the kitchen is the same and kind of the basic layout is the same because I imagined that when um, the owners kind of built this or purchased it, maybe they renovated it, they did like kitchen, the bathroom, it's all the same. So it has the same layout while the other items might be a little bit different. So like the paneling that can be specific to each uh, unit and things like that. So that's why uh, I did that. So the first unit that I worked on, which was for like the older couple, is more like on the modern side. I think I used more of the modern items, while this last one is kind of like a mixture. Because as I said, I imagined this for a young family. So I imagined that they kind of buy whatever they can afford. So they don't really care that much about if it's modern or if it's traditional. They just really need something for the house. So that's kind of was my idea for the last uh, townhouse. Also, uh, in a minute, I think I'm going to be changing the car swatches of uh, the appliances in the kitchen. I use this like teal color that they have. They don't really fit with the blue on like the curtains and the blue on the door. But I just really wanted to do that. So even though it doesn't really match as much, um, I just went for it. I, I think I normally don't go all crazy about like patterns, but here I just didn't really mind going kind of all out with them which is a bit of a surprise considering how like normally I treat patterns but yeah I just really like them and here so here you can see the uh, bedroom so as you can see it's pretty cramped but I think if you make the bathroom a little bit smaller you might actually be able to figure it out somehow so if you made if you'd made the bathroom maybe uh, like three tiles smaller you would have a space for like a bed for the kid uh, or if like the kid grows up or like the baby grows up to be a kid uh, so maybe you would be able to figure it out somehow but I'm, I'm not sure 
I just I wanted to keep the layouts the same, so that's why I did not change it. Um, yeah, it's it's up to you if you decide to move in into this unit or just if you want to move in, just if you want to move your Sims in, just delete the crib and just put something else instead, uh, so that it makes a bit more uh, sense. So now I'm moving on to the exterior. So each of the townhouses has this like really, really small backyard. So I am just putting some kind of random stuff uh, here. So here I put a barbecue and a seating and I think a plant, a couple of planters. Uh, in the middle one, I think I placed a couple of sun beds, a couch and the uh, um, um, the astro thing that you can watch the stars with or your sims can watch your stars with, watch the stars with. Sorry. And the last one, I put a couple of chairs and I think kind of like this house that has sort of like spiritual, um, I don't really know what it is. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's almost it for today's video. If you want to download this build, you can get it on the gallery. My ID is Michaela Sims YT, or you can try under the hashtag Michaela Sims YT as well. If you want to download the trade files, you can get them in the description box below as on, uh, always on my Ko-fi page. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed working on it uh, because the new pack is really fun and uh, if you decide to get it, let me know what you think about it because it's really uh, a fun way to, to interact with each other. And yeah, I hope you are having a great Friday. Have a great weekend and we'll see you in my next one. Bye! me i'm looking in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by in everything see you in the next life have to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me i just feel way pushing on my chest and it squeeze till i suffocate better change my mindset meditate it's pretty cool that i'm alive and have better days i could walk see here i should celebrate think i could change my my mind maybe elevate living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days cause all i want and i pray i believe Stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life every day